Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I am installing GNS3 VM. Here the requirements are you must have a PC which supports visualization. GNS3 VM supports uh, different uh, visualization platforms such as uh, VMware, VirtualBox, Hyper-V. In this particular video I am using Hyper-V and I already downloaded GNS3 software and uh, Cisco iOS operating systems everything is already in my computer so I will show you how to start with installing Hyper-V on a Windows 10 machine and later on I continue installing GNS3 VM Okay, after the restart of the machine, here is my Hyper-V manager. As you can see, there is no virtual machine present, but uh, I need to create one later. So just now, I'm going to install a GNS3. That file on my desktop is the file I downloaded from GNS3 website. Here I am choosing Hyper-V. If you are going with VMware, you can you can go for VMware, but you must have VMware installed prior to GNS3 installation. Now I get a notification that uh, GNS3 VM file is downloaded. Okay, let me go and quickly check the file location. Okay, that is a zip file. So later on I need to extract it and add it in the Hyper-V. So let's wait for the GNS3 to finish the installation process.
Now the GNS3 installation is over. If you want, if you don't want to configure GNS3 VM, you can stop now and add your iOS images onto GNS. And if you want to go forward and install VM and load virtual iOS, you must continue. Here GNS3 gave me a few options whether you wanted to connect with the virtual machine or directly from your local computer. So I just uh, leave cancel because anytime I can access both. Right now on the left side showing your local server or local machine is active. Here you can see GNS3 VM is actually not configured. Uh, I need to configure but right now I am not going to uh, put a tick mark because I did not configure GNS3 VM. So let me extract this GNS3 VM file. Inside the folder you can see two VHD files and one help file. So let me copy this into a C, C partition. Uh, you can copy anywhere that doesn't matter because I don't want it to accidentally delete so that's why I'm keeping it my C partition. So as you can see it's giving me some instruction that means these are actually the PowerShell commands. You can do directly the PowerShell commands but I am going to do with the graphical user interface and uh, two commands I will run at the end. So quickly let me create a virtual machine and uh, give the name GNS3 space VM in capital letter. And you can store on any default any other location or a default location keep a generation one and uh, you can uh, right now i'm giving one gb but you can configure three gb five gb depends upon the number of images you configure and i'm attaching the disk already available in my gns3 file here in gns3 i have two disks let me connect the first one Okay, then one more disk is there. Okay, so uh, let me go to the settings and attach the second disk. So go to ID controller. And uh, click uh, hard, hard drive and uh, add a new one by browsing it and locate the previous folder this time disk number two and click apply and ok now the gns3 vm is ready and i connected uh, this gns3 vm to the default switch and now i need to run two commands in powershell One is for the nested virtualization and other one for the MAC address proofing. And one of the one important thing I want to say is you must uh, log in as an administrator account. That means the username is administrator and password you can choose a password. And now I started the GNS3 VM. And once I start the GNS3 VM, and this will detect the GNS3 software. Okay, GNS3 uh, finished booting up and it has got an IP address. 
Now let me go to GNS3 VM and do the remaining configuration. And I choose a Hyper-V and it detects the VM name, the GNS3 VM. And on the right side you can see the GNS3 VM is actually the grey color. After few seconds it becomes green. Ok next is to add the virtual iOS. So let me select the template. I already have the uh, Cisco iOS virtual. And now this uh, virtual OS is copied into GNS3 VM. So you can copy all of your virtual images into GNS3 VM. Now the iOS is available with me. And if you want to add iOS, I mean the normal one, you can do it from this uh, iOS routers. So I have the uh, legacy operating systems available here. GNS3 um, iOS this time I'm using like 2691 image or the normal dot bin file Allocate more RAM in GNS3 VM if you want to add uh, mini devices.
thanks for watching my video please do subscribe and see you in the next video thank you very much